How I spent less than $250 and got more than 20 million streams. Welcome to Freddy for Artists. The only place where an artist who's actually doing it is teaching you how to do it. Let's get into it. Mix and Master, $50. Production, in other words, the beat, $150. Distribution, DistroKid, $20 a year. Their cheapest one is $20 a year. It's incredible, unlimited releases. Assuming you have a cell phone, and if you're watching this video, now let's break it down. There's no reason you should be spending money going to professional music studios. I've been in Florida for the past month and I've made 20 songs sitting at this kitchen table. Technology's so good, a good engineer can make it so no one knows the difference between a song that was recorded in a bedroom or a song that was recorded in a professional recording studio. Now, with that comes cost of entry. After the cost of entry, I'll dive into how that $250 was spent. MacBook, 1500 bucks. Logic, 200 bucks. Logic, in other words, your DAW, your digital audio workstation, your recording software, 200 bucks. Microphone, Shure SM7B, $359. Focusrite Scarlett, 160 bucks. It's an interface. That's about what I spent. You can find it cheap. Okay, now that's out the way, let's get into it. Cover arts, zero dollars. There is no reason you should be spending money on your cover arts. It's not that serious. A lot of you guys are worrying about cover arts like you're trying to impress graphic designers. There are far too many resources to create cover arts for free or little to no money. Some great resources for cover arts. One, take a picture. <laughs> Two, use royalty free images. Download them from the internet. Three, this one's technically paid, but it costs the same amount of money as a meal at Chick-fil-A. And I know y'all buying Chick-fil-A and saying you don't got money for music. Canva's what I use. I've made a bunch of cover arts with it, and I still use it to this day. Canva's a great tool for creating cover art. Graphic designers in the comments right now are like, he's taking my job. <laughs> if one day when your music's making money and you can afford to pay a graphic designer to create cover arts for you and that's something that you want to do then by all means do it but you don't have to there are plenty of options to keep your costs little to none in this area of your business mix him hold up forgot to mention this uh if you'd like to learn exactly how i make my cover arts i have a course available on my patreon and the link is in the description let's get back to the video mix and master 50 bucks 50 bucks find someone who's just starting out and build with them there's a mixing engineer out there willing and excited to mix your song for 50 dollars. you don't need a 300 dollars mix you don't need a thousand dollar mix nobody can tell the difference especially at the beginning the more money you spend the more it cuts into your profit margin keep your costs low so the return on your investment can be high why did i choose to keep my costs low because i always think of every song as their own unique individual investment and they each have their own return on that investment if i keep my cost to release a song at 250 dollars, i know that means i have to get 65,000 streams in order to break even on my investment and every stream after that is profit. 65,000 streams, 0 0.003 and 0 0.005 cents per stream. So 65,000 streams is give or take this amount of money. Production, in other words, the beat, $150. On this song, I bought the exclusive rights to the instrumental and I gave the producer 50% of the publishing and 5% of the master. I personally only purchase beats exclusively, but there are other options for a cheaper investment on your production. You can lease instrumentals for less than $50 on platforms such as BeatStars. Now, leases usually come with certain limitations, but they're a great place to start early in your career. Now, we're at the final piece to the puzzle content the main thing that will drive traffic to your songs on streaming platforms is content streaming equals dollars i created pieces of engaging short form content and posted them on platforms such as tiktok and instagram reels the content performed well and that usually translates over to streaming streaming equals dollars the song i'm talking about here is my song serotonin and it was one of the top 50 most viral songs on spotify back in february 2022 in my opinion if you want to make a living in today's climate of the music industry and you're not prioritizing content creation then you're missing out don't miss out study content creators not musicians now i use the same engineer but i pay him more money i use the same producer i pay him more money and i still use canva for my cover arts stop overthinking it and get to work